Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with an unboxing sniff test and a and a preview of what I just got in the mail, which is a Gigapan Epic Pro. Actually, it's an Epic Pro, bro. Uh, Gigapan Epic Pro. What is it? Who's it for? What's it gonna do? And what's it gonna smell like? I don't know what it's gonna smell like yet because we haven't unboxed it. But what this thing allows you to do is put your camera on pretty much a computerized robotic device that's going to move it and take pictures of different set, well, different uh, of whatever you're shooting to get a pattern. Say it's a skyline. We want to get little pieces of each skyline. It's going to take however many pictures you want, depending on how you set it up. You can check out Gigapan's website for the videos on how they make this happen. But it's really cool because if I want to take a skyline picture, I will say, you know, of, of Philly, we'd line it up, say using a 100 millimeter lens. It will take a picture in that portion and keep taking pictures all the way across. Then it will come back and take pictures all the way across and come back and take pictures all the way across. But it's taking individual images and with the free software they give you, it will stitch them together at the end to give you one large interactive image. Now you can print these out really, really huge because you can stitch them together if you can find a place that does it huge, but it's more about the interactive sharing of the image. Say it's something like shooting at the fly. I want to take one of these to the Flyers game and shoot the arena. I want to have it with the fans in there and then give them the uh, the link and say, look, you can zoom in on it, you can tag people in it, you can see every little thing because we'd use a, a, a telephoto lens and it will take more images, but it will show the whole arena and you can zoom in and see what's going on. That's what's really cool about this thing. It's like a, you know, it has a computerized brain so you can set it up, put your camera on it and let it do the work. Now, I've watched some of the videos on how to do it. They have great tutorials on their website. Really happy with that. Uh, this is an $895 unit. But who is it for? Who could use this? Well, if you're doing interiors of houses, you can do a 360 degree look. You can take just uh, each room and do a panoramic of each, maybe not even a panoramic, but just do whatever of each room. That way somebody looking on online can zoom in and move around the image. That's really cool. That is a great sales device for anybody who's a realtor or does real estate photography. Uh, it's great for shooting panoramics of cities. I want to shoot it at concerts. I want to try, I think every arena should have one of these uh, and, and every baseball, so every sporting event should probably have one of these stock and take a picture every night and, and post it so people can interact with it. I know, all this talking, let's unbox it, but I just get these ideas all the time. You know, I think every arena should have this, but then again, they'd have to hire somebody to shoot it. We'll go through a full review of this when I, when I actually use it so you can get a full understanding on how to use it. So there's a box. Hello, box. All right, there's that, there's whatever that is. There's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a box. Oh, it comes with six different cables. It triggers your camera. So it comes with, I believe, three Nikon, two Canon, or maybe it's two Nikon, two Canon, a Sony, and an Olympus, I believe. And that's probably in here. Well, it's an unboxing, so I guess I'm supposed to unbox it. Let's see. But yeah, it's cool that it comes with the cables because it, uh, it will trigger each camera that you have. And I know it has rechargeable batteries. Oh, here's all the cables. Here they are, one, two, three. That's really cool. The USB on one side, and then 10 pin connector for the Nikon. You've got your connectors for the, the Canons and the Olympuses, and I believe the Sony. No Pentax. Sorry about that, Pentax. This feels like a big battery. This is a big battery. Wow. All right, we're gonna put that away because there's no really need to see it, but you want to see the actual unit here. Here it is. Wow, it's got some heft to it. It smells epic, bro. It smells like a giant epic, bro. Whew. All right, let's take this out. It actually has some heft to it. It better for $900. And which I don't think is terribly too expensive for a device that's gonna allow you to capture these images like it's going to do. It's a great sales tool for you if you're a, uh, out there shooting this stuff. So here it is. You attach it to your tripod. I can attach it to my Vanguard. You, uh, it has a level on it. It's got, you can take up to, I believe, seven pounds, this one. So I could use a 302.8 on my D4 and shoot pictures and have it be really cool. It could take 1,000 pictures, get 2,000 pictures. And yes, I'm gonna shoot it in all of RAW. So this isn't how the plate goes, but I'm not gonna mess with it until I read all of the directions. But this is the Gigapan Pro, sorry, Epic Pro. And uh, 
you got your buttons, you got your screen. It's pretty much once you figure out what you're doing, practice with small images and then you can start taking the 200 image panos and you're going to see what you can do with it. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to shoot the skyline. Maybe I'll go to the art museum and shoot the stairs up there or the sky from, from there and maybe I'll get to the Flyers game and take some sample images with the Gigapan Epic Pro. So there you have it. It does smell mighty, mighty epic. And that's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the subscribe button right here below the video as YouTube has made the change. And one more thing, click on subscription updates, manage subscriptions, and if you would like to get an email every time I upload a new video, click this box. If you'd like to see it in your feed on YouTube, click that box. And over on fronosphoto.com, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can go ahead and put your name in this box, your email in this box, hit send it, and I will send you a free photo guide, a guide to capturing motion in low light situations. If you're new to photography or you're somewhere in the intermediate range looking to learn a little bit more about your camera and how to get out of auto, don't forget about the Fronos Photo Beginner Guide, a guide to getting out of auto. It's at a special price right now. It's a three hour long video. You can buy it as an instant download or as a free as a physical copy with free shipping around the world. So thank you guys very much for watching.